I currently have a visitor. Mr. Hunter Pant is here for the weekend. Do you think I can get through this recording with no distractions? We'll see. Hello guys, who are you today? My name is David DeFranco and welcome to another video brought to you by my iMac 2020 and brought to you, well, by you. Because of, I think your name is Camp Wise. Let me open up Discord here and go over to my Discord and video requests right there. Camp Wise 05 says, David, it would be nice to see an old throwback, especially since you have the 2020 27 inch iMac. What is on your Mac? What apps do you use on your Mac? Have you transferred apps programs from your Mac Pro slash MacBook Pro to the iMac? So CampWise05, thank you very much for making today's video. Well, I was gonna say possible, but technically the iMac makes it possible, blah, blah, blah. But you inspired today's video. So thank you CampWise, I appreciate it. And if you want anything linked right below, guys, check it out. I will message him personally asking him. Okay. Wow, did I just spit on my iMac? I am so sorry. It's the first smudge on the screen. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to fix that after this. Uh, anyway, I just ordered food. DoorDash is hopefully it's on its way uh, somewhat soon. And I'm done for the day. I just finished video editing. I'm almost caught up on email. So I figured why not kill some time by making a tour of my dock. And for those who are not aware, the dock, that little thing right down there, is kind of like your Windows taskbar on your inferior operating system. Uh, it's just a shortcut of your most used apps or whatever apps you want to put down there. Some users like to fill their dock. I don't. Um, every single app in this dock is used quite frequently. So here we go. First up is the Finder. For those not aware, the Finder is basically Windows Explorer on the Mac. Just a lot cleaner in my opinion, and this is where I quickly access anything, or everything rather, such as my videos, my music, my documents, airdropping, which I love. Airdropping has been so, so useful, especially lately. For instance, I record a video on my iPhone for my Earcon, Earcon, Raycon E25 review. Um, I did a video on the iPhone, and then I transferred it via airdrop, and then I dropped it into Final Cut Pro 10. That is so seamless. seamless. Like, I love it so much. Hunter, you're gonna have to stop, dude. This is why this is a dog-free household. I can't stand the, the just the sound of like licking and sniffing in the background. <laughs> this is probably why I'm single, because I'm, I'm a very to myself kind of person. Anyway, there's the finder. Uh, next up is dictionary. Maybe I'm a nerd. Maybe I'm, I'm a geek. I don't know. I love having the dictionary in my doc, it's useful for looking up items or words such as, uh, uh lemon. I was, I was going to search something inappropriate, but I'm, I'm going to try to keep this video somewhat family friendly. Anyway, there you go. Now we all know what a lemon is. It's a yellow oval citrus fruit with thick skin and fragrant acidic juice. The more you know. Now clicking on thesaurus. Other words for lemon are ointment, lotion, cream, salve, liniment. Okay, command Q. I'll be back. Hunter, get out. Come on, go. Get. Come on. I'm sorry. I, I just cannot put up with that. I can't. Okay, next up, airmail. I love airmail. I'm just going to blur someone's name right here because it's a, it's a client. Airmail is great. I'm not a huge fan of Apple Mail, honestly. I'm just not. Um, it, it works well for most people, but like I said in my previous video that I captured using ScreenFlow, by the way, I need more than your average user. I consider myself a prosumer, which is kind of like a professional consumer. And well, when I need more, I get more. So Airmail does the job. Airmail is great. You can set up themes. You can set up easy shortcuts. You can set up multiple accounts. As you can see, I have multiple accounts down here for Patreon, DeFranco Media, and obviously my personal email and stuff like that. I love it. It's such a great app. Safari is my browser of choice. Most people prefer Chrome. On Windows, I prefer Chrome. Mac OS, I prefer Safari because it just integrates so well with Mac OS. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I think it's an excellent browser. And man, does it fly. It absolutely flies on this iMac. And as you can see, my homepage is indeed 9 to com. That way I'm always up to date with the latest Apple news, rumors, and all that stuff going on. 
All right, next up is Chrome. Of course, I do have Chrome on here. And this is definitely my secondary browser for things I want in the background. Maybe I'll have like a Twitch stream going. Um, also, I use this for CSS purposes. So if I'm like modifying CSS of a website, um, I will look at the live preview in Chrome and change the code in real time and then apply those changes to whatever I'm working on in Safari. It's great. I love it. And of course, it syncs with Chrome upstairs. So it's quite well integrated with my uh, personal and professional lifestyle. Next up, Apple Photos. I love this app. It's incredibly simple. As you can see, I took a bunch of pictures from my Magic Trackpad to unboxing, and there are some videos that I've used in recent videos as well. So boom, it's Apple Photos. I'm not going to show too much for obvious reasons uh, because, well, it's personal, you know? So I, no, it's not porn. It's not porn for anyone wanting. These, these are just my personal photos. Uh, so yeah, Apple Photos. I use it all the time, hence why it's in my doc. Next up, Spotify. I used to be a, like a very heavy Apple Music user. Like I loved Apple Music, but I use Spotify a lot on Windows. And Apple Music on Windows is, honestly, it's okay. It's not as well integrated for obvious reasons. We're talking like apples to oranges here, or apples to lemons, if you want to consider Windows a lemon. It's a joke. It's a joke. Calm down, people. The whole Mac versus PC debate is so stupid. I use both happily. Anyway, I love Spotify so much that eventually I decided to cancel Apple Music, you know? So Spotify downstairs, Spotify upstairs, and Spotify on the go. I am always listening to Spotify on my iPhone um, 11 Pro Max in my car. And as you can see, I'm a big classic rock fan. I just love classic rock, video game music, uh, synth wave, and all that stuff. Command Q. All right, messages. Self-explanatory messages. Uh, and, okay, maybe it's not self-explanatory. Maybe you're not a Mac user. And this is one of the many reasons why I love being an Apple fan. It just integrates across devices so seamlessly. I can easily and quickly access my messages on my iPhone, my Mac, my iPad, even my Apple Watch. It's great. Just the consistency is beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Discord. We all know what Discord is, right? Let's open it again. And again, this video is made possible because of Campwise05, so thank you again. And of course, if you guys want any video requests submitted, here's the place to do it. Join my Discord right below. It is linked in the video description. Tweetbot. I love Tweetbot on my iPhone. I use it all the time. But surprisingly, nowadays, I don't use Tweetbot that often on my Mac. I mean, I try to focus more during the day. I guess that's why. And plus, in my opinion, um... If you're using Twitter on the desktop, I think it is best to just go to twitter.com nowadays. But of course, if you do prefer mobile, like I do usually, then just use your iPhone or Android device. So, boom, there you go. Tweetbot, great app. Notes. This one, I'm definitely not going to open. I just got an email. Speaking of Raycon before. Um, notes has a lot of personal information, so I'm not even going to bother opening it yet. Um... Text edit, I use this all the time, all the time. For instance, you can see, actually I'm gonna blur this out as well because it has some personal information on it. But yeah, text edit, I use almost daily. So I typically use it to keep track of hours for clients. I especially use it for video notes. And if I don't use it for video notes then I just use Apple's notes app. Uh, but yeah, between notes and text edit, both those apps are used almost daily. I love them. Apple Pages, another app I use quite often, not as often as other things. As you can see, I haven't even launched it yet on this new iMac, but it is quite useful uh, for when I do need it. Numbers, I definitely use all the time. As you can see, if you right click, it's my most uh, recently used document right here. 2020 business expenses. Once again, I'm gonna blur it. Sorry, yes, I'm all about transparency, but this is also my business, quite literally my business. And I don't need people seeing exactly what I spend on what. But yes, this is how I keep track of my business expenses. And I also use an iOS app called, let me see. Oh, it's literally just called Pocket Expense. Excellent app. Definitely worth checking out. Speaking of mobile, let me check my DoorDash order. All right, my, my Dasher's at Wendy's waiting for my order. Got a little Baconator on its way, you know? I'm hungry. Calculator. Yes, I realize calculator is kind of built into the OS, but I like having a dedicated calculator in the dock because why not? Photoshop, I use Photoshop all the time, all the time. 
I'm a heavy, heavy Photoshop user, have been since like Photoshop 7 in high school. Yes, high school. So I've learned quite a bit. I'm mostly self-taught. I'm very, very um, experienced in it. I know a ton of shortcuts. I'm no professional by any means, uh, but I definitely know my way around the app. And if I'm given a task, I typically know how to complete it in Photoshop. It's definitely my preferred graphic design app above everything else. Sometimes I do use Illustrator. I mean, I'm, I'm not a regular Illustrator user, but if I can get by in Photoshop, then I'm gonna use Photoshop. Let's close that. QuickTime Player, I use this all the time, all the time. For example, here's my newest video, uh, my Magic Track 10. 10 years later, and I'm finally unboxing an impressions video. And sometimes I use this to record video. Now, let me see if I can use this. Wait, did that just cancel my screen flow recording? Hopefully it didn't. God, I hope it didn't. Anyway, Final Cut Pro 10, pretty self-explanatory, I guess. I mean, th this is by far, by far my favorite video editing application of all time. And as I said, I just kind of finished working for the day. And this is the newest pages only of Locati Vlog. It's just under one hour and 18 minutes long. This is what $5 patrons get access to every single day week. Over 200 vlogs, by the way, probably nearly 300 at this point. But yeah, I take a lot of pride in my Patreon content and patrons, I cannot thank you enough. So I hope you're enjoying the exclusive content with plenty more on the way. So let's swipe back over here. Screen flow, which I'm using for this. So I'm not even going to bother opening it because I don't want to interrupt anything. And the app store. Yes, I realize you can access it from here. Apple, then the app store. It's all the same thing. But again, I like having a dedicated icon in the dock. And finally, system preferences. I'm actually in here all the time because I'm constantly tweaking like my wallpaper, my, my, my screen saver, my energy saver settings if I want to keep the screen on and stuff like that. So boom, system preferences. And here's my little download stack, which I recently cleaned out. So there's only two files in here. A music file. Let me mute this. There you go. I used that for a recent video of mine. And here is a clip that I recently used for my Magic Mouse. I mean, sorry, Magic Trackpad. And then I will show you guys unboxing video. And my trash can, which is empty. Actually, you know what? Let's empty these in real time. Boom. 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 Oh, and of course, as you can see, my desktop is very, very clean. I'm currently experimenting with stacks. I'm a big fan of stacks in the dock, but ever since I got my iMac, this is actually my first time using stacks on the desktop. And I gotta say, it's quite useful for now because I don't have an external SSD on here yet, but I will um, be, be buying myself one in the near future. So for now, I just keep things organized in stacks on the desktop. And yes, I do have uh, all this stuff in my menu bar. So if you wanna see this in the future, let me know and perhaps I'll make a video about that next time. Anyway guys, there you go, a tour of my dock, nothing too exciting, please keep in mind I've only had this iMac for literally like, what, two weeks now, uh, maybe three weeks, so yeah, I mean, obviously I'm going to be adding more um, apps over time, maybe Microsoft Office, I don't know if it's worthy of being in the dock, I'm just saying, but yeah, this is a great start between graphic design and video editing and email and productivity and music and photos and my dictionary and Twitter and Discord. I think I'm pretty well organized and I use these apps all the time. But of course, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section right below and I will do my best to help. Where's my food? Still waiting for order. I guess it's busy. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna get started on editing this. Then I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and watch some Better Call Saul and I'll see you next time.